So hello, you beautiful people. Um, in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can start with the uh, simplified process for the ammonia synthesis. So uh, this, uh, the, the, the tutorials for DW Sim will be split in two parts. In the first part, I will talk to you about the compressor expander. So here we have the um, steam turbine to power the four compressor stages. And in the second tutorial, we will have a look at the equilibrium reactor and uh, yeah, phase change and how you can combine this. Okay, let's start uh, with, the, with the compression and the turbine. We need to create a new DW sim simulation. The wizard will start up, hopefully. Okay, and then for this tutorial, we need um, methane. We have some leftover methane from the steam reforming. Um, we need argon. And our main components are hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. ammonia and we also need water since we are running a steam turbine so water okay hopefully that's it then we can go next and for the ammonia process i have a good experience with the nrtl model so for all that's related to the um, ammonia production um, and for the steam turbine, we choose steam tables. You know this already for the from the hydropower plant. So, and here, make sure that you click double or that you double click on it or press add. And I would uh, recommend you to first insert uh, NRTL and second uh, steam tables because normally it should be the case that uh, by default uh, DW Sim picks the first one and we need this quite often. So NRTL for all um, gas phases. Okay, then we choose again C5 for the correct units and then it's finished. Good. And I will not show you everything in detail. So this is your, your homework, but I will give you some, some hints how this works. Okay, let's start uh, with a compressor. So this is our compressor. I think you know this already. We need some material streams for the inlet and the outlet. And of course we need an energy stream. Okay, let's rename it. So this would be ref gas. Reformer gas one. And here you have to specify um, what are the inlet conditions. And in your in the PDF file in the lecture, I gave you the information that it's 45 degrees Celsius. We have an inlet pressure of 30 bars. And basically the you have to find out the, the mole flow or the mass flow or whatsoever. So this you have to do on your own. Okay, then now we have the case that we have uh, different components. So let's clear everything first. Then it's uh, methane. This has a amount of 0 0.011. So this is mole fractions. Then argon is 0 0.0025. Hydrogen is 0 0.739. Nine. Oh, this wasn't a... And now nitrogen is missing 0 0.2466. And this should end up, sum up to one. So, and now it's important to click accept changes. Otherwise this won't work. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. Yes, we have NRTL for our gas phase, so everything's fine here. Then we have to tell our compressor what it should do. So, and now I will give you something uh, that's wrong that you, so that you can uh, 
yeah, you have to find out the correct solution for this. The efficiency is already fine, 75%. But now let's start with a pressure rise to a, to an outlet pressure of 200 bars. Now it can be calculated. You have your power here. Let's call it P and then stage one. Okay, and this could be ref gas two. So we need a lot of material streams with the reformer gas. So I'm just counting it. So what you what you can see here is that right now here you have a rather high um, temperature at the outlet. So this is not what you want. Um, and for your homework, you yeah you know that you have to do the the um, compression in four stages. So you have to yeah choose uh, uh, yeah the right the correct um, pressure levels at the at the outlet after every compression. So and in the PDF, I told you that we want to cool it in between, and this can be done by a simple cooler. So you just add the cooler here. It's ref gas two, the outlet we create and also the energy flow. So this would be Q stage one. Oops, this wasn't correct. This should be still a cooler and our energy stream should be renamed. Q stage one. Okay, and this is reformer gas three. Okay, and with the cooler, you just have to say, I want to define my outlet temperature. So outlet temperature should be 30 degrees Celsius. I specified this in the PDF. So, and then you can see here that you have a heat that has to be removed of 1.1 megawatts. And also the power here is in the range of 1.1 megawatt. Okay, um, and this you have to repeat. So here, this is just an example with uh, one compressor stage. And yes, so for for the simplified cycle, you need uh, four compression compression stages. Um, so you have to insert a next compressor and so on. And I said to you that, let me show to you in the PDF. So here for the first, uh, for the fourth stage, there we um, also feed in the, the recycled gas. And this can be done in DW sim with, uh, with a mixer. So here, stream mixer. So normally you wouldn't do it after the first stage, but I'm just showing you the, the working principle. So you say, okay, I have a mixer now and I create my inlet steam. This would be something like recycle from the process. And my second stream is ref gas th three. Now they are combined and now we only need one outlet stream. Oops, we created. And this is how you can combine different flows and get a mixture of the flows. And now this would be sent to the fourth compression stage and then you can repeat it. Okay, um, so much for the compression. Um, the other thing that we have to consider is um, the is the steam turbine. We need a steam turbine to power all the compressors, uh, compressors. And for this, we use the expander, which is a turbine basically. And what we are doing 
is same thing. We say, okay, I need an inlet. Oops, I need an inlet stream. I need an outlet stream and I need an energy stream. Okay. With this material stream, this is high pressure steam. The parameters were given. We have a temperature of 510 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 115 bars. The mass flow is still up to you. And we need to say that it should be um, pure water. So clear everything. We say pure water, accept changes. Okay, now the, the equation of state is able to calculate this. And what is important, um, we need to say, okay, right now we are looking at water and now we are using steam tables and you have to do it for everything that's uh, inside uh, of our steam turbine simulation. So this is basically a standalone version. And you say, okay, let's start with uh, the high temperature and the high pressure. Then you send it to the, to the turbine. You define um, an outlet pressure. Here I say, okay, let's do it to one bar and the efficiency should be 80%. And here um, you have to, where is it there? You have to say, okay, it should be steam tables. Otherwise um, the communication between the material stream and the component is not working correctly. And this would be low pressure steam. And here again, we have to say steam tables. P turbine. Okay. And what I told you in the, in the PDF is that you make sure that you have to make sure that you are not, um, that you don't have a, a, an outlet um, ah, the German word would be Zustand. So you have to make sure that at the outlet of your turbine, you don't have, uh, you don't have liquid water. If you look here at the low pressure steam, then you will see that you are already in the, in the, uh, liquid vapor, um, phase. So here you have, a, a vapor fraction of, uh, 96%. So if you operate this with an, with an, uh, pressure of one bar, then you will not fulfill, um, what I told you to do. So maybe you have to increase the pressure here a little bit to make sure that you are, that you are not, um, that you don't have a liquid at the outlet of your turbine. Okay. So this should be just some hints how you can do the homework. You should know by now um, how to specify the compressors, how to specify the cooler, the mix, uh, the mixer, and also how to use the turbine and make sure that you click here um, the, the steam table property package. Okay, thank you for watching.